Honourable Member for Windsor Tecumseh. Mr. Speaker, almost two years ago, a group of MPs from across party lines formed a nonpartisan parliamentary group aimed at promoting awareness of deficiencies in Canada's palliative and compassionate care framework. The Parliamentary Committee on Palliative and Compassionate Care, which now has over 55 members and was co-chaired by myself and the members for Kitchener, Conestoga and Guelph, conducted research and heard from Canadians throughout the country. Tomorrow, Mr. Speaker, November the 17th, the committee will release its landmark report outlining the findings and making recommendations on three main long-term health issues, palliative care, suicide prevention, and elder abuse. Through our study, we learned some troubling statistics that at least 10 Canadians die by suicide each day, the leading cause of death amongst those between the ages of 10 and 24. We also discovered that only 16 to 30 percent of Canadians who need palliative care are able to access it. And then, Mr. Speaker, as many as 10 percent of all seniors will experience some form of abuse in their lifetime. I am proud of what the committee has accomplished in working across party lines to produce a substantial report that demonstrates that parliamentarians of all political stripes can work cooperatively for vulnerable Canadians. The Honourable Member for Tulsa.